Greetings, this is August 13th at 2 p.m. I've got uh, some recent updates from 12.41 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I also want to show you this other map sent in by a viewer. This is uh, been reproduced. It says, for public information with a seal of the province on it. And if you look in the top section, the northern flank, you'll see a lot of variation between this and the infrared that we're receiving from a separate satellite system. That's why it's important to check the links below to find out what the official status is of the fire perimeter and where it's moving. You always want to check there. What we look at is satellite infrared data that appears at a certain period of time. So we can see these extensions. They look within three to four kilometers. Again, there's a scale on this map. Pause the screens if you need to. Here is the infrared of the same area. And you can see that there is an estimated distance of eight to nine kilometers from 70 Mile House and Green Lake. So over that same time period, there may have been uh, some cloud cover, some haze, the infrared is obscured. So you want to look at the data from multiple sources to find out where you are, what your position is, what your escape routes are, and what resources you need. This is uh, looking at the entire section of the Elephant Hill fire perimeter. We can see variation in where the intensity is and diminishing hot spots and uh, this may be due to cloud cover. Uh, we're looking at the eastern flank. I'm noticing their fire perimeter has not altered though we are seeing an area of intensity that hasn't changed much. So again this is one source of data showing you a type of information that is infrared. You want to get the official sources to actually see where the fire perimeter has extended to or receded from. Now we're looking at the area around High Hume. There is, I'm seeing diagonal patterns emerging from areas of random activity. Uh, these patterns are extending from the southwest to the northeast and may be part of a control strategy. Uh, moving over to Loon Lake, I still see those areas of volatility south about two kilometers. Um, no apparent increase in this area. Uh, it's still remaining clear from infrared around the lake area. Moving over towards Vedette, I see no apparent change in what the infrared is displaying. Again, these can be 500 meters to a kilometer off, so there may be activity that's not showing up on this system. Here we are looking around Young Lake and north towards the Bonaparte up to the Green Timber Plateau, and I'm seeing uh, what looks like controlled angled striations that uh, may be part of a strategy. It's difficult to tell from this system and it gives us an indication of where that heat's occurring. This is a satellite overview and you may or may not be able to see those red dots. Uh, I've included this in case you need to see what the uh, terrain and uh, ground cover looks like. We're going to zoom out a little bit and I've left the, the infrared on. Uh, this is for you to pause and examine. This is for you to get an idea of where the infrared is showing up. Uh, I've zoomed out a little bit more and uh, we get an indication of the region and where the lakes are uh, what might be used as part of a fire guard program and the forestation. I'm jumping over to Windy. It's coming from the southwest primarily at the Big Bar Cam 
at seven kilometers an hour. We're seeing some cloud in the forecast increasing over the next three to four hours and I'm showing an indication of rain and continuing cloud cover until Thursday and uh, this same sort of cooling temperature at a low wind velocity. There's the shot at uh, the Big Bar Cam approximately an hour ago and we're just going to roll into the image uh, most recently and we see a bit of sun pattern coming in there and some high overcast I'm not seeing any indication of rain on the road surface so it's something we've got to watch for this changing weather I do realize it can be frustrating getting hard data uh, where heat is, where perimeters are in such a dynamic situation. Uh, do be safe. Check multiple sources and sometimes you just have to rely on your wits. So be safe everyone. Thank you.